the VA two KFU says, I'm a new ham and I want to make a dipole. What do I need with, what do I do with the coax? I want to connect to a dipole wire. Is the shield important or just strip the cable and split the center wire in two? <laughs> uh, great question. And it doesn't, I mean, uh, what, when you think of a dipole antenna, uh, you've got, uh, you know, the two sections, the two legs, and each leg is the same, you know, is, is equal distant, you know, they're the same, they're the same length. So it doesn't matter which side you put the center connector conductor to and which side you, you put the braid to. It's um, uh, so if you wanted to do a quick and dirty dipole, you could certainly, you know, spread out your wire and, um, and then just strip some coax and solder one side to one end and one side to the other end, and that would work fine. Um, I thought, I, you know, I don't have a, a connector here, but um, what I did, um, when I've, I've made some quick and dirty dipole antennas, is I've taken just like an SO239 or a chassis connector, mounted it to a piece of, of plastic or plexiglass, and then you can... Um, Take your coax that's got the UHF connector, the PL on it, put one end on one, you know, and screw that in. And then on the back side, you can solder your wires to the back side of the chassis connector for, um, you know, to make a quick and easy dipole connector. Um, if you look on online, I've got a video on, um, it's, it's, it, I did it last December on getting on the air with the 10 meter band. And I've got a really, I did a, a really nice, look, easy, super easy construction project on how to make a center connector for a dipole antenna. So, um, you know, VA2 at KFU, go check that out. Um, if you want to make a dipole, that'll kind of give you, um, this, hopefully that'll give you some insights on what, you know, what you need to do to do that dipole antenna. And we got hey. Joe again. So. Look at that. Sometimes <laughs> technology is great. A little, All little right. cloudy there. Let's uh, see if we can make this a little better. I'm going to unplug things and plug things in. Oh, whoa, hey. Okay, oh, there we go. Back in the big head. Good looking guy on the screen there, right, Kay? <laughs> yeah. He's shaving tonight. You know, he's ready for fun. Ready for a oh. good time. Let's get a little, a little light. Maybe I could just. Oh, 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 oh. That's going to that's gonna mess yep. things up, I bet. I'm messing things up. I'm really yeah. messing things up. Oh my God. Oh. Anyways, but we're back on. And I appreciate your patience. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yeah. I've had to say that before. <laughs> I need to get one of those um the, those um TV broadcast cards. You know um. <laughs> What's the the ones with the Indian and the test the test pattern? The test you gotta get the old yeah. test pattern. So when I drop the, on, it just puts that up. They got the old. They, you see the old ones, you know, with the 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 technical difficulty ones, you know, with the pedestal camera, and there's an engineer pulling tubes out of it. And... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That'll work perfect. Yeah, I'll have to find one of those. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.